Situated near the small town of Llantadio, the southeast of the idyllic Isle of Anglesey in North Wales, Brinketley Lee is one of several prehistoric sites known to exist on the island, being indicative of Wales' rich history. Its name translated, meaning the mound in the dark grove, has been known to locals for many centuries, with written documents recording the tomb as being plundered in 1699. My family came here first in uh, 1904. They came here first, and um, you can imagine how life has changed since then. I've been here since 1971. Well, when they first came here, there was only stones, you know, like standing stones sticking up. And then they redid it in 1929, and apparently it hasn't been done correctly. And I've been told that this one has been uh, incorrectly built. The mound is too steep. It should be lower down and longer. That's what the, when they were the... Um, they came, some came from Cambridge and some came from Lampeter and some from Durham in 1990, 91, 92, 93. They dug holes, you know, every few metres along the fields, you know, the students did all, all that. And they dug quite a few things. They found an enclosure or something over there, I don't know what it was. But they, they used to come for about a month every year uh, from uh, Cambridge, uh, Lampeter and Durham. The site has been radiocarbon dated to roughly 3000 BC, and so the tomb is an excellent example of a Mesolithic construction, bearing similarities to other structures such as those found at the more famous sites of Newgrange and North in Ireland, sites which also include the architectural alignment designed to correlate with the sunrise on the winter solstice. The site, which is one of several, is responsible for bringing tourism to the area and providing a mentally stimulating destination for local primary schools, outlining Wales' rich and diverse history, as well as attracting pagan visitors on the equinox to observe the religious alignment. They come up on the summer solstice, don't they, the longest day, and they camp, don't they, overnight, and they, they sort of go in, in there and they wait for the dawn. Lots of people come very, they very first. They play the drums, don't they? Bef hmm? They play the drums here. Oh, yeah, they're like hippies, you know, and they're, they're really into it, and they, they camp, and they, they come, but they either camp here or they come very, very early in the morning before first light, and they set up, and they set up cameras and all sorts, don't they, and they film the sun, if it's there, <laughs> sun rising and it's shining through and it's uh, very very famous for it. Well I've been told that for what it is is one of the most famous in Western Europe you know for what it is um, I don't know what that really means but it's one of the most famous in Western Europe I've been told. Thousands of them come so you can see why it was a bit difficult when they came up the same track and parked <laughs> and that's how I got cursed by the witch you weren't there were you? And I went to, I was having an argument with her and I went to start the tractor and it wouldn't start. And she's like this, honestly, I curse you. <laughs> and I'm going, start tractor, I curse you. <laughs> and the tractor wouldn't start. And I said, listen, you might be a witch, but I'm a bitch, get off here. <laughs> and sent her packing in the end. <laughs>